Hello class, this is Cole. Sometimes a pull request can't be automatically merged because you've made a change and I've made a change to the same line in the same file. In this case, the website can't help us resolve this and we need to actually go edit the file manually somehow. The first strategy is to use the command line, which I'll show you now. So I'm going to clone my repository, cd into it. Okay, so we can say git status. All right. And now we're going to make a new branch. Git checkout branch, and this could be anything you wanted. Uh, they just suggest naming it after the pull you're about to make, and you're um, branching off of the master branch. So now we've switched to that branch. And now we'll get pull. The repository that we're trying to merge from. And here we get that same message. It's trying to auto merge. There's a conflict because the same line was modified um, in both uh, forks. So we need to uh, manually merge it ourselves. So now let's go look at that. June 22nd and string array pair class and so you see what it does for us is mark it up with the two different versions so you can see in the one version from this line to the line with the equals in it is one of the versions of that line that's in conflict and then from the equal sign to the line with the arrows facing the other way is the other version of that line so in this case we see that in one version we just want to put an exclamation mark. And in another version, we just want to capitalize W for world. So I think we should resolve this. By simply adding an exclamation mark to the capitalized hello, or the capitalized world. And now this new line kind of incorporated changes from both. You may just decide that you want one line over the other, so you just want to throw away one, throw away the other, or somehow do something dynamic. Maybe you want to rewrite it a little bit. It's kind of a human decision, and that's why GitHub can't make that decision for you when the line is in conflict. Okay, so we'll write that file. And now when we ask for the git status, it says they've, you know, we're in the middle of a merge. They've both modified this file on uh, the same line. We've gone ahead and fixed that though, so now we'll say just add it, and that's to come mark it as resolved. Okay, and then we'll get commit. Okay, now we can continue back here now that we've kind of committed that to the branch with the directions from GitHub. So we'll check out the master branch, which is the one we're actually interested in modifying, and I will tell it to merge without fast forwarding from that little temporary branch where we did our merging. Okay. And then at this point, if I wanted to kind of complete the full cycle, I would get push origin master. I'm not going to do that now because I want to show you the other way in the next video. But that would that would uh, finish it up for us. So very good.